everything off. What's up? What's up, everybody? There we go. We are live. Guys, super, super, super excited to be here with you guys today. Uh, I have literally been sitting in my home office for the last 10 days, at least 10 days straight, just sitting here, grinding, you know, working, connecting with leaders and, and game changers around the world. And I can tell you guys that right now uh, is one of the most special times in the history of our company. You know, right now, it's one of the most pivotal times in the history of our entrepreneurial journeys, our, you know, trading education journeys, uh, because of where we are uh, and, and how much momentum we have. But understand that as leaders, we're not just trying to create the momentum, right? Because we always talk about it, but momentum, it's not something that you see. It's not something that appears in your back office. Momentum is a mindset. Momentum is a decision, right? Momentum is something that, you know, I, I always say momentum is an energy, right? An energy that we create. We are the creators. From the dawn of time, we were given the power of creation. So momentum is something that we create. It's an energy that then feeds the activity, right? Which then feeds the productivity. And so at the end of the day, I commend you guys for being here. Almost 3,000 people on Chairman Bootcamp, day number one. And I'm sure by the end of this call, it'll duplicate. So I'll tell you guys, just because we started doesn't mean that it's too late to promote. Today is Matt Rosa's topic. So we're going to alternate day one, Matt, day two, me, all the way back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then on day seven, we're bringing the flames together. And what I want to tell you guys is that these trainings are designed for you, right? This seven-day boot camp is designed to give you every piece of the skill set that you're going to need to take your business and your, your journey to a level that you've never seen before, right? All of us are going for the same exact thing, to, to work and to apply and to learn so we can go to a place that we've never been to before. That's the beauty of growth. And so promote these calls, you know, text message people personally, right? Get out into chats uh, and, and into communities and encourage people who have a desire to, to build this business with us, to partner with us and market the company, market the opportunity, you know, market the education, encourage them to be on the call because it's not too late. We just, we're just hitting 3,000 participants right as we speak. So uh, congratulations to everybody who made it. Now, that being said, guys, we're going to kick this thing off um, with my brother, uh, my business partner, somebody who I have a ton of, ton, ton, ton of respect for because, you know, when I met Matt back in 2013, we were both really just getting started on our entrepreneurial journeys. We were not working together in the same team at all, the same, you know, environment, yes, but same, um, same lineage, no. Uh, but I really, you know, over the course of time, you, you know what they say, Eric Worre told uh, Matt and I this, but time will either promote or expose, right? You don't need to worry about anything in life because time will solve it all. Right. We always hear the cliche, time heals all. Well, guess what? Time also exposes all. And a lot of the people that were grinding um, at the same time that Matt and I were really kicking off our careers um, are either amongst the world's best or they're no longer even entrepreneurs. Right. And so the one thing that I saw with Matt that he saw with me that led to us becoming business partners and beyond um, was really just a work ethic. But, you know, Matt and I were talking earlier and work ethic is unteachable, right? You can encourage somebody to have a good, you know, to have a good schedule. You can encourage somebody to go out and grind, but there's just a, a certain level of starvation that causes somebody to work ruthlessly. And Matt always had that. Um, but I want you guys to understand that this is somebody who went from, you know, stuck at what we would consider almost like a P600 income with, you know, a P2000 volume. <laughs> so you're blessed by the way, inside of IM, because we were, we were less than P600 income with more than P2000 volume for a long time. Both of us, Matt and I, um, for three years, really, uh, we were, we were there. Uh, but this is somebody that continued to go, continued to hold the vision and is now, um, in the top 10 in the world 
But forget the income. Uh, one of the hands down the best trainers in the game, period, end of story. Um, and I always tell people, look, you know, there's a lot of things that I can do. Um, but when it comes to training, launching, you know, taking those skills of creating momentum from nothing, uh, I, I would consider Matt one of the best of the best. And that's what we're going to talk about, guys. So uh, I'm super fired up. Um, remember, this call is being recorded, but being live is better. Have your pens out. Guys, you should have a fresh notebook ready to just, I mean, I want your, by the end of this seven days, I don't want, I'm, I, I pray, I, don't, I ain't praying for no arthritis, but I, I want your wrist to have some muscles you didn't know were there. Right? I, want the arm, I want the forearm to be a little bit stronger because it's not just what you hear. And it's not just what you put in your phone, but it's what you write down. Our minds have a mental memory. So guys, get ready to take your notebooks. We're approaching 3,500 participants on the call. Keep promoting. Matt, I'm going to toss it over to you, my brother. Crush it. I'm super excited uh, to plug in myself. So you are the host. Day one, Chairman Bootcamp. My brother, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let me go ahead and pin this video. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Guys, we have almost 3,500 people on this call, and it's crazy because this has become the new standard with our company. This has become the new standard inside of, 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 of I Am Mastery Academy, ladies and gentlemen. The other day, we had Mr. Ivan Tapia, Mr. Alex Morton. We had Mr. Uh, uh, David Monitier hosting the Spanish trainings, right? And we had about 10,000 people on that call. Uh, before that, we had March Madness with about five to 8,000 people on the call at all times. Uh, just yesterday alone, multiple calls, 1,000 plus. This thing is getting real very, very, very fast. But here's the thing, guys. Momentum, momentum isn't something that we're strangers to. Momentum isn't something that we're experiencing for the first time. Momentum isn't something that, that, that we do not know how to handle, but I will say this much. We learn from what has happened in the past and then we execute on what it is that we can get better at. We eliminate what it is that we did wrong and then from there, we just continue to push the status quo and raise the bar for the industry of net work marketing guys i could not be more excited to be on day one of the chairman mentorship boot camp that we're having here online so what we can't have events so what we can't have uh, uh, uh huge gatherings it's all good baby because right now we are shifting the culture inside of the industry inside of the company and guys in the last seven days in the last seven days, that's it, only seven days, we've been able to introduce this concept to 6,000 new customers that have gotten started with us. So guys, I'm gonna open up the chat box and let's celebrate the fact that we just added 6,000 people inside of the company in a seven day span. Let's drop some 777s inside of the chat for the seven day growth that we've had, for the seven day boot camp that we're about to experience, and for the insane amount of momentum that is amongst us, guys. You see, what is gonna happen here? What's gonna, here, I'm gonna open up, let me open that up. Uh, All right, we're good. So guys, I want you guys to understand something. I want you guys to understand something. We are about to literally double the size of the company in the next 30 days, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to double the size of the company in the next 30 days. We will add 100,000 customers to the organization in a 30 day span. It's not how it's gonna happen. It's not a matter of whether or not it's gonna happen, guys. It's happening, right? Because when you make the decision to make something happen, the universe conspires a theory and a way in order to fill in the blanks. So we're going to, in, right now, in, in, by, by December of 2020, we're impacting, educating, and enriching the lives of 1 million customers. We're creating 1,000 chairmen inside of the company, ladies and gentlemen. And in the next 30 days, 100,000 customers inside of the business. I'm talking about quantum growth. I'm talking about quantum leaps, right? And we understand something, guys. We understand that at the end of the day, what goes up must come down. In momentum, there's always going to be a retracement. But we get to control the amount of retracement that there is. And that's what this boot camp is about. Making sure that we don't just have a paid team, but we have a trained team, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, over the course of the next like 45 minutes or so, I'm going to be going over the first topic and that's how to launch somebody, right? 
And I'm going to need, here's a few of the house rules, guys. First and foremost, I'm going to need you guys to take notes. You know, Jay spoke a little bit about it. Guys, it is a proven fact that you're only going to retain about 5% of what it is that you learn if you don't write this thing down, right? The second thing that I'm going to need you guys to do is that you, this is a chairman boot camp which means that everyone in here is trying to hit the rank and the level of chairman, right? Chairman meaning that you have at least 500 customers in your organization. You've cleared a six figure income with the company. Chairman is a responsibility, right? So you have a responsibility to understand that guys, it's not about what it is that you can do, rather what it is that we can teach. Because what we can teach is proven to be duplicatable and duplication leads to momentum each and every single time, guys. So with that being said, take notes, teach anybody in your organization that's going to join, anybody inside of your organization that may not be on this call, what it is that you learn in this, right? Because we're teaching to teach. I'm not just teaching you what to do, I'm teaching you how to teach what to do, right? So let's talk about the launch really quick. The launch, in my opinion, is the most important part of this entire phase of momentum that we're about to experience collectively. It is literally the part, uh, the, the most important part of this entire phase that we're about to experience today, guys. How you launch somebody is usually how their momentum will kick off. Now, here's the rules when it comes to launching, right? When it comes to launching, if you are going to sign somebody into this company, it is your responsibility to be able to teach them what it is that I'm going to teach you. And it needs to happen in their first 24 hours, not their first 72 hours, not their first week in the company. It needs to happen within the first 24 hours because they trusted you. They tr we have almost 4,000 people on the line. That's crazy. They trusted you. They joined your organization. So it is your responsibility to train on the launch. Now, over the course of the next seven days, you guys are going to learn everything from social media marketing. You guys are going to learn everything from how to influence. You guys are going to learn everything uh, when it comes to just being a leader inside of this business. But the launch, in my opinion, is the most valuable. You see, when Jason Brown and myself joined this company in November of 2015, we had no intention of building the business. But right around January is when we decided to plan our flags and kick things off because of the results that we were witnessing on a trading aspect, right? And we said, okay, if we're going to launch this thing, we got to be able to launch individuals, right? It's not just about how many people you can bring into the business. It's about how many individuals are seeing success. Now, a lot of the times when we get started or when we get somebody started, the first thing that we say is, you know, and this is before the transaction takes place. You do not have to recruit in order to make money. So that's the behavior that we get in return. We have people that do not want to introduce the content to people because we told them that, right? You see, what I've been doing lately, what I've been doing lately, and, 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 and this was something that I wish I had done from the very beginning, is that I allow people to know the proper intentions behind this and the proper expectation behind what it is that we're doing here. You see, trading involves risk and risk means potential loss. There's no way around. If you are trading inside of the markets, you've experienced loss. There's no way around it. Yeah, I just experienced one of the biggest losses I've ever had in my crypto portfolio during this downtrend. What did I do? I bought more. But, you know, you're going to experience loss and that's that's inevitable right so it does take disposable income to be able to trade in a very very peaceful state of mind so what i always ask people is hey do you have twenty seven hundred dollars of disposable income usually they say no right 600 times i want to make sure i'm yeah 7200 excuse me do you have 7200 dollars of disposable income usually they say no they're like no i i definitely don't have that type of money that's why i'm getting started with this and I tell them, all right, cool. I'm going to teach you how to hit a rank called Platinum 600 inside of the business. The best traders have been able to trade without a pressure of money being on top of them. When I invest today, I invest without pressure of needing to make the money back, which allows me to not babysit my investments and be able to focus on the educational aspect instead of losing the investment, guys. So here's what I do. I sit down, I sit them down, and I break down the four steps to success. Now, when somebody gets started, again, you got to do this in the first 24 hours, guys. But I'm going to break down the psychology 
of each and every single step and how it's going to propel them into insane momentum right out of the gate. Now, not everybody's going to want to do this, but at least you're casting the vision, right? Because we're impacting, enriching, and empowering the lives of 1 million customers, right? We're going to create 1,000 chairmen, right? So we need to cast that vision as often as possible. Now, this isn't the only way to build your business. People could come into this thing and just be customers and never tell a soul if they choose to. But if we cast the vision from the very beginning, we are transparent with our expectation, then it is inevitable that we will then get a certain behavior and that behavior is sharing the product right we're all in the industry of network marketing right so i'm going to teach you guys how to do this right the launch four steps to success write this down step number one step number one is going to be your why teaching the individuals to establish why it is that they do what it is that they do you see guys it can't be about money how many times have you quit a job and it didn't keep you there because of the money People will quit on the want for money day in and day out. People will quit on themselves. People will quit on the lack of money that they, be, that they may be making. How many people know it's true that this isn't a get rich quick? It's a get rich, but this is not a get rich quick, right? So this is going to take depth of vision. This is going to take time. And you need to establish that, 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 that mentality from the very, very beginning, right? So I help them establish their why. You see, I break the why into an acronym. Your why will help you. Your why will help you get through the tough times in your business. Your why will help you get through the stagnancy because there's going to be tough times and stagnancy inside of your business. Your why is also going to help you enjoy the higher times that much more. Your why is the driving force behind why it is that you do what it is that you do. It can't be money, ladies and gentlemen. And the why is one of the most acceptable forms of accountability. You see, there's been times, me and Jay have been business partners. We've been working together now for six years almost. And there's been times where I've wanted to quit. There's been times where I wanted to give up. There's been times where I was frustrated. There's been times where I said, screw this, I'm not doing it anymore. And it wasn't the money that kept me going, but it was Jason giving me a call and saying, remember why we're doing what it is that we're doing. Remember the commitments that we made to the people that we made them to, right? You, you should be able to tell your people that your why needs to make you cry. For me, I can give up on a million other things, but I can't look my little brother in his face and say, hey, man, remember that, 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 that opportunity that I told you I was going to take, uh, take care of the family with? I, I gave up. I can't look my mom in her face and say, hey, mom, you remember how I told you I was going to be a chairman 500? Well, it, you know, life got tough and I gave up, which means I gave up on you. I can't tell my little sister. I can't tell my wife. Hey, look, you know, remember I told you that I was going to, I was going to make our wildest dreams come true. We're going to travel the world and you were able to study what it is that you want to study. You were able to open the business that you want to open up. You were able to do what it is that you were passionate about, but we can't do that because I gave up, right? The why is one of the most acceptable forms of accountability. Now, here's the thing, the why you cannot use as a weapon. You see, Eric Worre inside of GoPro, Seven Steps to Becoming a Network Marketing Professional. If you haven't read it yet, this is not a suggestion. This is instruction to go out and read this thing, right? He says that you need to ask for permission to hold somebody accountable. You need to ask for permission in order to hold them accountable for their why, right? So what I do is when I get somebody started, I say, hey, look, you know, there's going to come a time where you may, be, you may get frustrated. You may get upset. You may, you may not be grinding as hard as you do. Now that we have established this why, I need to be able to have your permission to hold you accountable on that day. And guess what? As a leader, when they say yes, you go ahead and you hold them accountable. But you need that permission in order to do so, ladies and gentlemen. We just had 4,000 people on the chat right now. That's, let's go. You need their permission in order to hold them accountable. Now, another instruction that I have when it comes to the why is that you have to have it in sight. I instruct my leaders to have their why in sight, whether, whether it's on, in, in, in their car, on the rear view mirror, whether it's, 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 it's the, the, the background to their phone, whether it does not matter. They need to be able to see it day in and day out because it plays such a massive role on a subconscious level, ladies and gentlemen. They play such a massive role on a subconscious level. You see, we are what it is that we look at day in and day out. We are what it is that we look at day in and day out. So I want you to think about it, guys. How often do you open your phone and you look at the back, right? You look at the back screen, you're like, okay, like this is one of my goals, 30 under 30 Forbes, right? 
But how often do you look at the back of your phone and you say, okay, right? My why is actually my screensaver, my wife, right? So how often do you look at the back of your phone and you say, all right, you know, the, 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 at the subconscious level, it's playing, give me one second. Hello? Shorty. Shorty. Hold on stairs, all right. Sorry, guys. So you have to be able to see it, right? Because if you don't see it, out of sight is out of mind, ladies and gentlemen. Out of sight is out of mind. So have them write down their why multiple times. Have them become obsessed, absolutely obsessed with why it is that they're doing what it is that they're doing because your why will help you. So step number one is help them develop their why, right? They have to have a burning passion, a burning desire for why it is that they do what it is that they do. Step number two, ladies and gentlemen, step number two. Now that you've helped them establish their why, you got to be able, you have to be able to teach them their goals and how to properly set these goals. Guys, nine times out of 10, the reason that we fail our goals is because we weren't taught how to properly set up goals. Think about it. How many times have you said you want to lose weight? And at the end of the year, you're 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds heavier. How many times have you said you want to quit that job, but you're still working there? And as a matter of fact, now you're trying to get into raise because you feel that's your only option. How many times have you said you want to rank advance? I'm going chairman. I'm going chairman. I'm going chairman. But chairman still hasn't happened. How many times have you said you're going to retire mom and dad? That hasn't happened. How many times have you said you're going to go travel the world and you still haven't even taken out that passport? And you see, a lot of the times that we set up goals, we have no idea how to set up goals. This isn't something that they teach in school. This isn't something that they teach us at home. This isn't something that we're taught from generation to generation to generation. No, we don't know how to set up goals. Hence, why it is that we fail the vast majority of the goals that we have, right? So there's two types of goals broken into two different categories. Two types of goals broken into two different categories. I want you guys to write this down, right? Um, the first type of goal, the first type of goal is going to be your long-term, I mean, your short-term goals, excuse me. The second type of goal is going to be your long-term goals right? Short-term goals, long-term goals. Within those types of goals, there's two categories. You have your financial-based goals, and then you have your fulfillment-based goals, right? So let's go over short-term and long-term goals right now. Then we'll get into the subcategories of these goals, right? Short-term goals. Guys, you need to have short-term goals that range anywhere between 30 to 90 days, and the purpose of seeing short-term goals is for somebody to be able to track their progression. Think about it, guys. Tracking the progression of whatever it is that you're doing, regardless if it's business, losing weight, anything, that allows you to see how far it is that you've come, which is extremely motivating. But it also allows you to see how far you have left to go, which allows you to really, really, really have that, 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 that sense of urgency, like, hey, look, I still need to hit this, right? Yes, I've come this far, but we're still not to where it is that we want to be. You have to help them develop short-term goals, 30 to 90 days. Maybe on, maybe on a trading account, it's to trade demo for 30 days and then open up a live account. Maybe on a building aspect, it's to hit platinum 600 within the first 30 days. Whatever the case may be, you need to have short-term goals. Now, your long-term goals are a little longer than that. On average, six to 12 months, right? I personally, I set my, 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 my long-term goals 12 to 24 months in advance, right? And the purpose of a long-term goal is to have depth of vision. The vast majority of people will not plant their flag and quit 90% of what it is that they do because they don't understand the importance of depth of vision. Everybody wants microwave results. They wanna be able to pop it into the microwave, press 30 seconds, and allow it to just go ahead, right? But you need to have the oven furnace-based mindset, right? Where you're here 90 day, I mean, uh, uh, 12 months from now, where you're here 24 months from now. Hell, when you're even here six months from now, guys, because the vast majority of people will quit. Guys, I've quit almost everything that I've started. Guys, almost, if I, my wife is on this call right now. She's like, you know, I've quit almost everything that I've started. You know, even my passions, right? My passions, I love music. I've been making music since I was 12 years old, guys. And I've quit music more times than I can count. I've quit working out more times than I can count. I've quit Every job that I pretty much had, 21 jobs before I was 21 years old, I quit absolutely everything. I quit school in high school and in college when I tried out college. We will quit the vast majority of what it is that we do because we were not taught to have depth of vision. 
we were not taught to set up long-term goals. Now, earlier I said that there was a subcategory, right? You have your long-term goals, you have your short-term goals. Then from there, you have your fulfillment-based goals and you have your financial-based goals, right? Let's talk about financial-based goals. And I, I feel that there's such a stigma when it comes to talking about financial goals. You know, if, if, you're, if you're talking about the money, then out of nowhere, you must not be for the people, which drives me insane because why do you do business? You do it because of money. There's nothing wrong with having financially based goals. And I'm not talking about financially based goals. Yeah, you want the, the cars, we got that. You want the clothes, we got that. We, you, want the, you want the penthouses, we, we got that, right? But it's not just about that. With financial based goals, I just did groceries for 11 families that were not able to fend for themselves during this virus. Some of my family and some people off of Instagram. You see, I, I, I've been able to give back to my church. I've been able to do different things with the money. So guys, you need money. Money, money, money is not the most important thing in the world, but money is up there with air, right? It's up there with the oxygen that we breathe, right? Without money, you can't eat what it is that you need to eat. You can't eat what it is that you want to eat without money. Money dictates where it is that you go to school. Money dictates the neighborhood that you live in. Money dictates where it is that your kids are going to grow up. Money, money, money is not the most important thing in the world, but guys, money is a necessity. So if it is a necessity, you need to have goals that are based around finances, right? But those can't be your only goals, right? So maybe you have financial goals, right? Whatever the financial goals are, we're not going to go over any of those goals. You know, deep down in your heart, what your financial goals are right? Um, for a lot of people that are just getting started, I help them set up a financial goal where most people that are getting started, they don't want to work in the job that they're working anymore. They don't want to do what it is that they're doing anymore. So I ask them, what is it that you make on a month to month basis? Let's say they make $2,000 a month. Then let's create a goal that we can help supplement that income until we replace it. And let's say they make $5,000 a month, but they're miserable. Let's create a goal that can help supplement that income. Even if you're not doing it on a full-time basis, or maybe you can put less hours into your job and more hours into the things that you're passionate about, more hours into the things that you love, more hours into the people that you care about, right? So you gotta create these financially based goals. So people make financially based decisions. Now the second type of goal, right? You see you have your long-term goals, you have your short-term goals. Within your long-term and short-term goals, you have your financial goals and then you have your fulfillment based goals. Now fulfillment based goals are absolutely about everyone but yourself. You see, on the airplane, on the airplane, no matter, I've been, I've been to every continent in the entire world, with the exception of Antarctica, right? We gotta check that off the list as well. But I've been to Australia, I've been to Europe, I've been to Asia, I've been to North America, I've been to, I've been to every continent with the exception of Antarctica, right? And no matter what the language is, no matter what the culture is, it always says the same exact thing. Right before the plane takes off, it says, in case of an emergency, make sure that you put your mask on first, and then help somebody put their mask on because you can't help somebody breathe if you are not breathing yourself, right? So that's where the financially based goals are, but now it's time to help that other person. Now that we're breathing, now that, now that, now that we have our mask on, now it's help, time to help somebody else out. That's what fulfillment based goals are about. You see, I have tons of fulfillment based goals, right? One of my financial goals is go out and hit chairman 750. You know, I, I, me and Jay, inside of our minds, we have to be the first chairman 750s inside of the company. That's a financially based goal. But a fulfillment based goal is creating 1,000 chairmen inside of the company. A fulfillment based goal is impacting the lives of 1 million customers by the end of 2020. A fulfillment based goal is how it is that we can continue to be philanthropists, give back to our community, give back to the people that we love. You see, most of my goals are actually fulfillment based goals. Even the financially based goals still go ahead and fund my fulfillment based goals, right? When you begin to, 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 to do things for others and inconvenience yourself for others, I promise you guys that the universe has a way of working in your favor 10 times out of 10. And right now, what's going on, we have a responsibility to help people. We have a responsibility to inspire people. We have a responsibility to educate people. We cannot be scaring people into doing a business. We cannot be intimidating people into doing a business. We cannot be manipulating people into doing a business. We must educate, inspire, and motivate individuals, right? So vast majority of my goals are fulfillment-based goals. Now, sometimes they're gonna start off small. 
right? Sometimes they're going to start off small. Maybe your financial goals will start off small. Your fulfillment based goals will start off small, but then they'll begin to snowball right now. My, one of my financially based goal, 30 under 30, I need to hit 30 under 30, Forbes 30 under 30, right? But one of my fulfillment based goals before the age of 40 years old, I'm trying to win a Nobel peace prize. And the way that you win a Nobel peace prize is by helping and truly impacting the world. Right. So, so guys, whatever those goals are, you got to You got to help them develop a short term goal, a long term goal, the subcategories in between them. So fulfillment based and financially based goals. And then you got to instruct them to put a date on it. You got to instruct them to put a date on it. You know, nine times out of 10, we do not put dates on our goals and months pass by, weeks pass by, days pass by, years pass by. And we haven't accomplished those said goals. Guys, you got to put a date on a goal because a goal without a date, a goal, a goal without a date is actually a fantasy. It's a fallacy. It's something that is never, ever, ever going to come true. So you got to make sure that you're putting dates on these goals. So the first thing that you're going to teach people is the importance of the why. Your why will help you. Your why will help you get through the tough times, the stagnancy, and the best times of your business. The second is going to be teaching them how to set up goals, right? You got to set up your, your financially based goals, your fulfillment based goals, your long-term goals, and your short-term goals. And step number three the list. You see, I remember when I first got started inside of the industry, uh, my, 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 my sponsor sat me down and I said, okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. And he said, okay. He handed me a piece of paper and a pen. And he said, Matt, write down a hundred names. I damn near freaked out. A hundred people? Are you freaking kidding me, man? I don't know a hundred people. You're having me write a list of a hundred. I immediately became intimidated. I was like, oh, now I can't do this business. Guys, it's not about what it is that you can do. Maybe you're an individual that can put a hundred people on, side of, on, on a list. But what about the single mother that does not believe she could do something like that? What about, what about the student that does not believe he can do something like that? What about the business owner that does not think he can do something or she can do something like that? You've now intimidated them from being able to accomplish a goal, guys. It's not about what it is that you can do. It's about what it is that duplicates, right? So with that being said, what we have to do is we have to be able to teach our teams, teach the newest individual how to make a list of five. Now, we're going to make a list of five three times. And that list of five three times will never end if you follow instruction with this. Let's break it down, right? The first list of five is going to be what I call, for the ladies, your SOS friends. For the males, your flat tire friends. Allow me to explain. Gentlemen, you just took a beautiful, beautiful lady out on a date. It's about three o'clock in the morning. You're driving her home and you're out in the hills. Let's say the Hollywood Hills, right? You're out in the hills. And as you're driving, you hear, and you realize, I have a flat. I have a flat. And you just spent all your money on the date right now. So you can't afford a tow. You go into the back to the trunk. You lift up the trunk and you realize that you took out your spare tire. So now you're forced to call somebody. I don't know about you. I have a Latin mom. I'm not calling my mom at 3 o'clock in the morning. She's going to kill me, right? So who am I calling? I'm calling my best friends, right? Ladies, ladies, your SOS friend. You're on a date. And, 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 and you thought it was going to be a hot date. But you get to the table, and this guy's talking some madness. He's talking some craziness right now, right? Who are you texting to say, SOS, help me, call me. Get me out of this date. You see, we have our flat tire friends. We have our SOS friends, right? We'll call them for help. We'll call them to go out and party. We'll call them to talk about the latest episode of Power. We'll call them for all these things, but we won't call them and we feel intimidated to contact them about business. You see, when I first got started inside of this industry, my flat tire friends were the first ones that I went to. If you have anything similar to the friendships that I have, everything is always about talking about our future. We're always talking about how we're going to get things done. We're always talking about being rich together and living in the same neighborhoods and driving similar cars and taking our families on dream vacations together and our kids growing up together. And I got sick and tired of us talking about what it was that we were going to do and no one ever bringing an opportunity to, to the table in order for us to do so. You see, I had my friends that were studying engineering we couldn't do that together right i had i had friends of mine that were hustling we couldn't all do that together so when i found out about this opportunity when i found out about entrepreneurship they were the first ones that i sat down and i said hey look guys this is the this is the reality of the situation right now we do a lot of this but we don't work enough 
We don't have enough opportunity. Unless you have something to bring to the table, this is going to be it. And it's not a matter of, oh, well, we, we, we should do this. No, we're going to do this. We're going to make this thing happen. Why? Because I freaking love you, bro. I freaking love you, girl. And that's the way it was that I had those conversations. I was very transparent. I was very forward. Now, to this day, you know, Jason Brown was one of those flat tire friends for me, right? And to this day, we've had the opportunity. Guys, you have the opportunity to pick and choose who it is that you enjoy life with. My, my brother, Matt Green, if you're on this call right now, shout out to you as well, bro. You know, we personally enrolled Matt Green as well, P5000. And we've had the opportunity, me and Jason, we've spoken in front of stages all over the world. We've, we've been on the beaches of the world. We've been in, 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 in amazing lifestyles. We've gone to the concerts that we want to go to. We, we, I mean, in August, God willing, we are able to continue the trip that we have planned. But we brought all of our family and we flew them first class to Asia in Thailand. And we're going to spend a week in Thailand with our family, with a beautiful, beautiful estate. And, 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 and it's all because of the fact that I had the courage to go to my best friends. I had the courage to go to my family. I had the courage to go to my loved ones and talk to them about an opportunity that I truly believed in the bottom of my heart was going to change our lives. List number one, five people. It's going to be your flat tire friends and your SOS friends. Now the next list is going to be acquaintances. Your acquaintances may not be the people that are closest to you. Maybe somebody that you work with that you see on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe it's going to be somebody that you've been talking to on social media for quite some time and they comment on all your stuff. You really don't know them. You see, those acquaintances are going to be the individuals that you bring this business to. Um, and, and every time you cross off a name from that list, you're just going to add another one on. So the list never ends with acquaintances, right? And guys, the way that your list is never going to end with acquaintances, everyone is acquaintance, right? The average individual meets seven new people a day. Think about that. The average individual meets seven new people a day. The person that held your door for you when you were walking into a restaurant, the waitress at the restaurant, the, the, person that, that, that took your payment when you went to go pay for gas. Um, I mean, th there's so many people that we meet on a day-to-day -day basis and we're networkers, not not workers. So you got to start networking with individuals, compliment individuals, find out how it is that, that, that you can impact their lives. Like one of my favorite things to do is when I'm, and, and guys, I will never tell you to do something that I don't do myself. I do it to this day, right? If there's a waitress or a waiter that, that I, I appreciate their service, they had that good energy, right? And you know, one of those waiters that just made you feel good, they were checking in on you, so on and so forth. I asked them at the end of the meal, hey, let me, let me ask you a question. Do you love working here? Like, is this your passion or is this just something that you do in order to pay the bills? Nine times out of 10, serving food is not their passion. And they say, well, it's just something that I'm doing in order to, in order to pay the bills. Perfect. So I'm launching a project out here and with your energy, I think that you'll really, really thrive at what it is that we're doing. If I were to send you some information and you gave me your number, would that be something that you would like to check out? From there on out, we can schedule a call and we'll chat from there. Nine times out of 10, when you approach it in that manner, I don't say business, I don't say Forex, I don't say, if I were to send you some information on a project I'm launching in the local area, we're looking for people just like you with that energy. Would that be something that you're interested in? We'll schedule a call from there on out, we'll chop it up. If it makes sense, amazing. If it doesn't, you have nothing to lose. They will get their phone number in your hands, and you will have the opportunity to present your business to them. Those are acquaintances. You got to go out and you got to start meeting new people. It's not just about who it is that you know. It's also about who it is that they know and they know and they know. And then the last list is just going to be customers, right? Often you're going to come across individuals that don't want anything to do with building a business, right? But maybe they want an extra source of income. Maybe they want to find a way in order to automate, whatever the case may be, right? Or maybe they just like the product that you're offering. Whatever it is, customers are the third list. Every time you cross the name out of any of these lists, you're just going to add another one on. You will have a list that never ends, ladies and gentlemen. I have people from all over the world doing this right now, and their list never ends, right? As a matter of fact, my wife is currently launching another company. I don't know what her list is right now, but she's doing it, right? And her list is never ending, ladies and gentlemen. So step number one, you're going to teach them their why. Your why will help you get through the tough times in your life. Your why will help you get through the stagnancy in your business. Your why will help you enjoy the higher times in your business that much more. Step number two, long-term goals, short-term goals, fulfillment-based goals, and financial goals. Step number three is going to be the list. Your SOS slash flat tire friends, your acquaintances, and your customers. 
And step number four, guys, in my opinion, what you see inside of this industry, when I first got started, guys, I was rough around the edges. I mean, I was partying nine days out of the week. Some of you guys will get that later on, right? I was having the time of my life. I was not a credible source. I did not understand public speaking. I did not understand how to launch a business. I, I, I was rough around the edges to say the very least. And speaking in front of a room scared the living crap out of me, right? It, it, it terrified me. It, 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 my hands used to get sweaty. I remember throwing up so I, before speaking. So I knew for a fact that I cannot, this isn't, this isn't one of the skill sets that I need to master right now, right? What are skill sets that I can master in order to get paid? Now, day number four of the seven-day boot camp, we're going over several different skill sets that you can teach your organization that are going to get them paid. You see... People do not understand that in this industry, you can get paid without being the message. You can just be the messenger. You can be the individual that delivers the message to them, right? And one of the biggest skill sets that I learned was not public speaking. I didn't start making money because I was public speaking. I didn't start making money because I was the best closer. I started making money inside of this industry rapidly. It wasn't a lot, but I started making money inside of this industry immediately because of the fact that I got very good at inviting. I got very good at inviting ladies and gentlemen right so i broke the invite into a four-step process a four-step process that I, I, I check this guy check this out guys i'm going to share my screen with you guys i will never tell you guys to do something that i'm not doing myself look at this matt rosa perfect invite so guys what i do when i come into a city where is it? All right, here it is. What I do when I come into a city is very simple. I teach a new developing organization, newly, newly launched organization, how it is to invite, right? Um, I'm going to go over the invite steps right now. But once I do so, then I teach them how to blitz collectively. And a blitz is very simple. We get everybody inside of one building, one room, turn on some music, order some food, and everyone goes around on their phones and invites the way it is that I just taught them. Right. And, and this video that I'm about to show you right now is from two years ago. We've been doing it for years since, since I pretty much started inside of this industry. This is something that I began doing with my organization. And I was in Dallas, Texas. Shout out to the Dallas team. I was in Dallas, Texas. We had about 300 people confirmed and we added another 150 to 200 people in a 60 minute span by utilizing this. Check this out. Check this out, guys. I will never tell you to do something. I don't do it. Guys, from you guys from Dallas, Texas. This fast but they just it's a step. Look. Look. Everybody is invited. Yeah. Invited. <laughs> invited. 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 Well, it's crazy how this works. It's a science to this, y'all. Inviting. Inviting. Yeah. Shout out to Chair of the Tank, Lindsay, right there. Inviting. Look at all this. Inviting. You see, people are from there. There's something Shout special. Shout out to Starboy back there. This is something Chairman about. Ten inviting. This is something that Nigel is Chairman about. Ten inviting. This is how we can do it. Then you got to do Look at this. Look at all the names that they're adding, guys. Onto the board. Confirmation, 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 confirmation. Uh, confirmation. New just invited. Guys, there's a science to this. And what we do is we teach the invite. The invite is one of the most important skill sets that you can learn as a new network marketer coming into the, into the industry, guys. So I break the invite into a four-step process. You don't have to be the best speaker. You don't have to be the best closer. You don't have to be the best presenter. You do not have to be the message. As long as you can master being the messenger, you will be able to graduate to being the message, and eventually you will be the individual edify. You will be the individual presenting, right? But if you're just starting off, the invite is one of the most important things. Now, look, here's the thing, guys. The invite cannot be done via phone. I mean, uh, uh, via text message. It can't be done via email blast. It can't be done via messages on, on, on the inbox. No, 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 no. You got to pick up the phone and start dialing. And I'll explain why. But here's, here's, here's the, 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 the four steps to the perfect invite. Step number one is you got to be in a hurry. The reason that you got to be in a hurry is because of the fact that when you're just starting inside of this industry, you may not know the answer to all the questions that people ask, right? And if you answer the question wrong, I want you to understand that your invite is the first impression to your business. So your invite should only be about 30 
it's 30 seconds to a minute long, right? And you want to be, you want to be in a hurry, in a hurry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my wife in a little bit so we can role play the invite so you understand how it is that we do so. But you want to be in a hurry, right? The, 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 the reason that, 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 another reason why it is that you want to be in a hurry is people want what it is that they can't have. You know, if you're in a diet, you want the food that you can't have. Whatever the case may be, and if they can't get answers to their questions, they're gonna immediately become curious and show up and grow up for that opportunity. So step number one, be in a hurry. Step number two, you're gonna to have to clear the individual schedule. The reason that I clear their schedule, I need to make sure that they're not doing anything during the plan time. And if they are doing something during the plan time, I always have an opportunity for them to hear about it later, right? So I ask them what's better for you, weekends, weekdays, whatever the case may be, nighttime, daytime, whatever the case may be, right? Step number three is that you want to add value. This is the most important step to the entire invite process. You have to be in a hurry, clear schedule, add value. Guys, by adding value, I do not say certain words like trading, forex, business. I try to stay away from opportunity. Um, people want to be a part of something that has not happened yet. Think about it. Have you ever found an artist that you like and no one else knows who they are and it's kind of like your best kept secret? Or, 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 or and, and, and you take pride in that, right? You see, people want to be a part of something that hasn't happened yet, which means that it is going to happen. You want to launch, right? Um, so I don't. I stay away from certain terminology and I get, replace it with other terminology. So instead of business, I'll say that we're launching a project, right? Um, so during that add value state, you want to have them feel like they want to be a part of it. And I, I, again, we're going to role play right now with you guys. Um, and then step number four, remember, be in a hurry, clear schedule, add value. Step number four is you want to take it away. Um, you want to take it away because, again, people want what it is that they can't have, and it keeps the conversation very short. Uh, sweetheart, we're going to role play right now. Um, guys, I, I, I utilize this invite myself on a day-to-day -day basis, right? We got 4,000 people on the chat right now. Hi, everyone. Um, so I utilize this invite. For the past few years, I've been utilizing this invite, right? And this invite, I promise you guys, it works. You know, our first event ever inside of I Am Mastery Academy, we actually utilized this invite myself, by myself. Jason was in Costa Rica launching our team in Costa Rica. We utilized this invite by myself, and I put 40 people, I invited 100 people, 40 people showed up for the first event ever, and that's how it is that we decided to launch the Miami market, right? So remember, guys, not any other way other than picking up the phone and dialing. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Shorty. How are you? How's everything going? Hey, I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually running into a meeting right now, so I'm a little bit in a hurry. But uh, let me ask you a question. Saturday, 3 p.m. or Monday at 6 p.m., what are you doing? I could do uh, Monday at 6. I'll be free. You're free? Okay, awesome. I want to discuss a project that we're launching right now, and I want to introduce you to some individuals. We haven't launched it yet. All right, so before we launch this thing, I want to get your opinion on what it is that we're doing. So I got you covered at Saturday, 6 p.m. Or, or Monday, 6 p.m. Uh, yeah, what is it about? Well, right now is not the time to talk about it. I'm actually running into a meeting, just like I said, but I got you down for Monday, 6 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to text you the information, all right? All right, sounds good. All right, girl, take it easy. Appreciate you. Love you. Love you, too. So literally, guys... That, 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 that's the way the conversation needs to go. You control the conversation, not the individual. Oh, but what is it about? What is it? They're not going to say no to something that they do not know what it is about, right? But if you're on the call and you're saying, yeah, well, it's about 4X and we're going we're gonna to make millions and we're going to become rich and these guys are out there making X amount of dollars a month and they're absolutely killing it and I know this girl that's doing X, Y, and Z and girl watch. And that right there is going to give them a, 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 a misconception of what it is that you do. And people don't know what it is that they don't know. And if you do not give them a reason not to show up to the opportunity, not to show up to learn about this, I promise you, I guarantee you that they will, right? And we don't guarantee anything inside of this industry, but the rate and the amount of individuals that show up and grow up for your opportunity will drastically increase, guys. So there you have it, the four steps to success. How to launch somebody within the first 24 hours inside of the business and exactly what to do and why it is that they will do what it is that you say, right? But you got to do it within the first 24 hours. That is your responsibility. That is your responsibility. That is your responsibility. It's not anyone else's responsibility, but yours because you got them started.
Step number one, you got to help them establish the why. Your why will help you. Step number two, you got to help them establish their goals, long-term, short-term, fulfillment-based, and financial-based. Step number three, you got to make sure that they understand the list. Flat tire friends, SOS friends, right? Um, your, your acquaintances, your customers. Step number four, you got to be able to help them invite. Be in a hurry, clear schedule, add value. Take it away. Guys, I cannot be more excited because tomorrow on the seven-day boot camp, day two of the seven-day boot camp, we're going to teach you guys how to build a social media brand on Instagram. You see, Jason and I, out of 100,000 people inside of the company, me and Jason are top 20 enrollers in the entire company, and we've developed this all through social media. We recruit on social media and we build in person. We're gonna teach you guys not only how to develop an online brand, we're gonna teach you guys how it is that you can uh, 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 start, start creating lead generation, start generating leads inside of your business, utilizing Instagram and utilizing Facebook absolutely free. And then we're gonna teach you how to convert those leads in turn, making you a social media influencer, right? So we could not be more excited for tomorrow, day two's call. We got 4,200 people on this call right now with a high of 4,300 people at one point on this call. And tomorrow, we're gonna get it up to 5,000. And by the end of day seven, we're gonna have this thing at 10,000. Now, I want you guys to understand what's gonna happen after this week. What's gonna happen after this week, right? You see, this week we're training the team. We're making sure everyone's good. In between, different leaders are doing you know, seminars and blitz and so on and so forth, right? But right now we're making sure that the team is trained so they know what to do with all of the momentum that is gonna come into the business, right? Because remember, we're adding 100,000 customers into the business in the next 30 days. 100,000 customers into the business in the next 30 days, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're gonna do what we're gonna do next week after the seven day blitz is taking place is that we, after, I mean, excuse me, after the seven day boot camp is taking place, we're doing a five day blitz, right? Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Imagine if you had me and Jason Brown that you could get on the phone with us and say, here, talk to my prospect, talk to my guests. And you would have us to explain the opportunity. You would have us to explain the business. Well, we're gonna be doing that online. Five times a day for five days straight, we're going to explain the business opportunity, daytime, afternoon, and nighttime. And we're gonna go over the entire opportunity and all you gotta do is invite. And then week number three, your chairman leaders are gonna do the exact same thing. And then week number four, it's your turn. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna run your own five day blitz where you're showing the opportunity five times out of the week. Guys, I want you to understand that we can literally expose a million people over a four week span easily if we follow the play, if we run the play. So I could not be more excited to impact, enrich, and, 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 and encourage and educate the lives of one million customers. By December 2020, it is already done, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are excited for this thing, let's go into the chats. Let's express our excitement. Let's get ready. Day one of the seven-day boot camp is officially done. Day one of the seventh day boot camp is officially done, and we are so excited to be here with you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys, and we're going to continue to crush this thing time and time and time again. Let's go!